to introduce what I'm going to talk about, as you can see it. But um, my name is Peter, and I work uh, as a developer at Funnel.io. Uh, we're a software as a service company here in Stockholm. We help marketeers collect, organize, and share their data. But let's go. I only have five minutes. Uh, Lean and Agile has taught us a lot about how to work in high-performing teams and organizations. It teaches us, and you've probably all experienced, the value of feedback loops, continuous improvement, and uh, having fast cycle times. But you can apply the same way of thinking to your individual productivity as well. You get quick feedback and continuously learn. Another way of looking at that is about 60 years of research and advice about response times to users. It's roughly this, that a tenth of a second is what I expect as a response time, clicking something that feels instantaneous. I have about a second to keep a flow of thought. I can keep on working without any interruptions. And after about 10 seconds, I will, oh, not only me, but most users biologically will start losing attention to what you're working with. So what's the state of developer response times? <coughs> We're having larger and larger apps that have more logic and content. We're using more cool languages that need transpiling. And I think our editors are probably OK in getting when I'm hitting buttons. But how about seeing the effect of this change in your running app? How can you get feedback? Uh, can I have a raise of hands? How many are frustrated waiting for builds? Uh, I think they're too slow. Um, I mean, if we cannot keep a flow of thought, which is about a second, or we'll lose attention at about 10 seconds, uh, it's not just that little second. It's how much other stuff that happens. Uh, at least for me, it's um, quite often I'll queue changes. I'll do multiple things. I'll do three, four changes, see what happens. One of them didn't work, and then I do other changes, and then I get all confused after a while. But even worse is uh, the productivity killer of context switching. If I have to wait, I'll sooner or later start chatting, Google something, talk to somebody, and then getting the team and or myself back on track is a lot of mental effort, and you lose a lot of time. But what if the build tools were at least 10 times faster? I mean, Webpack is the line that's been growing the last five years. It's a very powerful ecosystem. But there are other things coming up here at the bottom that I'd like to highlight for you guys. One of them is ESBuild. Uh, it uses compiled and native, and it's extremely fast. It does pretty much everything I think most people need in a JavaScript bundler. And uh, there are also others like SWC. Now, in five minutes, I can't really explain what this is. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, Google it. But let's say in practice, what do I mean by extremely fast? Well, uh, we, as an example, we had a pretty large Node.js service that we moved over to ESBuild instead of Webpack and TypeScript. And now our dev server starts up in under a second. Uh, all our reloads, running unit tests, under a second. So we're in that keeping a flow of thought one second uh, flow of work, which makes a huge difference. How about web development? The big name here is Vit, which actually means fast in French. Uh, it builds uh, using ESBuild in the dev environment, but also leverages native modules from browsers. So it's a, a retake on how to work in um, a web development service. So it's, it's really lightning fast, hot module reload. And what I mean by lightning fast, it's instant. Um, this is where we moved also a non-trivial React app. It's about 25,000 lines of code. Uh, from Webpack to Vit. And it's, it's like um, 200 milliseconds start the server, 100 milliseconds reload of hot module reloads. It makes a huge difference working with it. It's instantaneous. You can get quick feedback. You do one change, you can get feedback. So some takeaways. Uh, stop wasting your precious time. Think about how to continuously improve um, your feedback loops. Think about what is stealing your attention, uh, because things over 10 seconds will break you down more than you think. It might not be build tools, but it's really valuable thinking about this. And the other one, if you haven't already, uh, try out these modern build tools. It's a paradigm shift, and uh, think about what you really need in your tool chain. You will be significantly faster and um, might not want to go back. That's all I had. Thanks for listening.